back for the next video on doing some solutions in the mock exam. So question 20 is pretty basic. I'm going to do it real quick and then we're going to move on to the next question 21. Is the graph below the graph of a function? No. It's not. It does not pass the vertical line test. Plain and simple. It doesn't pass a vertical line test. I, could, I can draw a vertical line right here. And how many places does it touch? One, two, three. So, if, so this x input right here, I don't know what it is. Let's call it negative three, whatever it is. How many outputs does it have? One, two, three outputs. So like support your answer, uh, easy a vertical line at x equals, I don't know what it was, but maybe that's at negative three, it's for that, it's for that negative value, whatever it is, negative, I'm just gonna say at x. So this is an x input, this is the x-axis. A vertical line at x, crosses the graph at three places, i.e. one input goes to three outputs. This uh, contradicts the definition of a function. That's it. Okay, in one brief sentence. Done. A vertical line at x crosses the graph at three places. Done. Okay? Okay. I'm going to clear the drawings and move on. You could go back a few seconds and pause the video if you need to, to see that again. 21. Answer the following questions according to the graph below. Assume each box is one unit by one unit. Okay, here's our graph. State approximately the intervals on which the graph is increasing. Okay, looks like from here to the right it's increasing. Looks like from here to here it's increasing. Right, it's rising. So let's let's estimate these intervals. So from there to there, this is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Negative eight. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Negative eight to zero. And um, I think it looks symmetric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to infinity. Uh, oh, well, mm. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't exactly know. There's no arrow there saying that it continues forever. It might just stop there at 15. Or is that 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's increasing on these intervals. Where is it decreasing? The in between. So that's 0 to 8, negative 8 to negative 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's decreasing on these two intervals. Okay. State approximately the local maximum values of the graph. The local. Boy. So it looks like local maximum value. So there's there's a local maximum value at uh, zero. It's a height of zero. So there's that one. And then there's the local maximum height here. And there's a local maximum height here. Both of those look to be the same maximum value here. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. It says approximate, right? So six and a half. So there's two maximum values that we take. Zero locally right here. It's the biggest thing close by. And then six and a half on the ends. So there's two maximum values. Those two are globals. So I'm going to label them up here. We've got a global here and here. Two global maximums. And then we've got a local here. It says to label them as such for the globals. So I, did, I, I didn't need to label the local maximum value. But there we go. Uh, D, state approximately the local minimum values of the graph. If any are global minimums, label them as such. Well, the only local and global minimums we see are right here and right here. Those are both at a height of negative 2. So, you know what, maybe I'll call this capital M for max, and I'll call this little m for minimums. So negative two is the minimum value that they take, and they're both global. There's nothing smaller on this entire graph. So there's both, both the minimums. They're both local because they're the smallest thing close by. You know, we look close by, and there's nothing smaller. Okay. But if we look globally, they're also the smallest thing around. Just make sure there's no E. Okay, there's no E. So that's trippy when I do that, but there we go. All right, I'm going to start another video and finish the test off here. I hope this helps. Um, I'll see you on the next one.